Hey you guys, like I told y'all the last time, um, in order to speed a video up and it not sound distorted, click on those three dots at the top and change your playback speed. When I tell y'all it literally took me 16 minutes to make my first cup of coffee at home, I'm not playing. <laughs> so if you just want to see the gardening part, go ahead and skip to 16 minutes in. Thanks guys for watching. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Good morning, you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. So I actually forgot to film an intro to my garden update. But I also wanted to show y'all my new Craig. Um, so we talked about this on Facebook. I told y'all I was interested in getting one. Y'all should just go for it, go for it, go for it. So I wanted to make my first cup of coffee with y'all. It's actually about 1 o'clock in the evening but of course i've been up since about eight a little after eight i just got back from um, mobile yesterday or last night rather it was my birthday it was my birthday um weekend i know i never announced my birthday y'all i really don't like a whole lot of attention y'all probably didn't know that about me but i actually don't <laughs> but I'm pro i might put it on my um my my feet or whatever but anyway so i am about to wash my hair y'all i'm telling y'all this quarantine has done my hair so well i mean so well it's growing like crazy i haven't had a lot of breakage shedding or anything because i keep it twisted and all of that but we'll talk about that in another video with this quarantine it's really doing miracles for me because i haven't had to do much with it here is my cute little setup so I, when I was in Mobile, my brother has a Keurig that they don't even use. So I took their um, their um, pod holder. They didn't need it. And then my cups back there, I got that from Ross. And then this is just a little cup that I um, picked up from like the Dollar Tree. I had this before because I was like, whatever. So anyway, and then this is a brush holder from e.l.f. And I just cleaned it out and put some straws in there. So this is my little setup. And I wasn't sure what type of cream I wanted to use. So I just picked up some half and half because of the, um, of course, calorie and carb content which is zero carbs and 10 calories so that is going to work for now until i find some combinations that i like so again i've never used it so we're gonna use it now um i think i'm going to do the butter taffy and see how that tastes so right now i have three different kinds i have just the regular classic roast some vanilla and some um butter taffy so yay okay so again whoop, okay i'm taking stuff apart and i should be okay where's the manual i think Okay, so this is plug and play, remove tape. I think I did all of that. Fill and rinse and fill. So remove the water reservoir. Okay, that was easy enough. Um, rinse. Feel reservoir to the max line and then replace. Make sure the lock tab, make sure the lock tabs engage with the bureau replacement lid. Okay, where's the fill line? I don't see a fill line. Oh, okay. Lift and 
lower left oh okay <laughs> okay the brewer brewer power will power on automatically it did not it did not it did not it did not okay so maybe it means that another step the three cup size will blank it did not none of this is happening right now none of this is happening It says push the eight ounce. Why did I lift it if I'm pushing the eight ounce? Oh, lift and lower. Oh, it says it right there. Lift and lower. See? I... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Let me rinse out my cup. It says three cups that yes it's blinking so I don't know how big these should be I need instructions for everything I guess I'll start with eight for now so we're gonna go with eight okay okay Oh, I got to cleanse it? Then push the blinking. Okay. Is this supposed, is my cup supposed to be on there? I don't know. Oh, that was just the setup. Okay, so. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I put water in the reservoir and then I pull this up, push this down, push my ounce, and then start brewing. I can never say that word right. And then that's just the setup. That's only eight out? Oh, okay. So then after that, I placed the mug. I'm so happy I placed the mug because they didn't say put the mug down now when you're doing the setup process. I'm special. That should have been somewhere. Put cup down there, okay? Add that curate. Okay, so after that gets done. Okay, okay. Okay, this is not rocket science. This is not rocket science. I think I get it, okay? So, again, we're gonna do the butter taffy. Lift, insert, insert. Oh goodness, this seems like it's too big. Is that too big? I need pictures for this whole process, man. Is this too big? It seems too big. Is it in? Is it supposed to be upside? What am I doing? Am I supposed to put it in there like? No, that would 
wouldn't make any sense, would it? I'm about to be so disappointed. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, and I don't want to break it. Oh my goodness, let me try this. This is the same size. Oh my goodness, what's happening right now? Okay, I gotta go pull up a YouTube tutorial. This is crazy. YouTube tutorials are actually not helping me right now. And I'm not sure, I think y'all can see it cause I can see it in the viewfinder. It's this little piece right here that's laying on the top of this K cup. And I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Like, is it supposed to push it down? I don't know. So I'm going to just try and force it and see. And I pray I don't break this thing. Oh, I did. Oh, you just force it down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do, I feel like I need to do 10 ounces. Let's do 10, Let, let's do 10. And then let's, let's go, let's go. Ah! Hey, I'm excited. The instructions suck and the YouTube tutorials also didn't help. I'm really, really weird about, there has to be one there. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do two creams and some monk fruit sweetener. So we're gonna do two creams and one or two sugars. I'm not sure. Also, um, I um, picked up this tea here from Amazon. I would love to know, have y'all tried it? I'll probably post it on my Facebook as well. So, in who let's pan down a little bit more. Move this out the way. And my first cup of coffee yay i'm so excited so excited okay so take me a straw yay and some half and half i'm gonna do one no oh yeah i'll do one for for now let me see how it tastes and one sugar Mmm, smells so good. So, so good. And this was the um, Gloria Jeans Butter Taffy. Mm. It needs a little bit more, so we're going to have to do two creams. And two sugars, because that's <laughs> kind of strong actually okay. that's better I, so I really have to figure out what recipes I like when it comes down to you know different coffees blah 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 so let me know y'all what's your favorite coffee mixture that you love um, I don't really like black coffee. It has to have some type of sweetener in it, but I also don't like it to be too, too sweet. So give me some ideas what y'all think, which I have been enjoying. So I picked this up, not even thinking about the artificial sugars. This has some artificial sugars that I normally wouldn't recommend. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But again, let me know what's your favorite coffee combo in the comment Ooh, section. Oh, y'all real close. I'm in my personal space. My goodness. 
one of the main reasons why I wanted to um, start enjoying a cup of coffee in the morning is because um, it stimulates your digestive system so I've been told it makes you run to the bathroom so anything anything that will help your girl I'm all for it okay so I figure along with my probiotics one cup of coffee a day all of and all my vitamins and minerals that I take all of these things should help should help so we'll see so let's go get to gardening yay okay so this is what I am about to do I purchased these two plants here um, recently which I'm um, like why did I do that because literally tomorrow I'm going out of town for four days and I pray that my garden survives I feel like everything's gonna be dead when I get back but we'll see so I am going to depot these two plants and put them in these two pots one is going to go on the porch and i'm going to hang up one of them which i will show y'all later and then of course this is these are the plants that i um did a while back and i'm not sure what this is i will put it in the video this one is broccoli cilantro and parsley but it's been struggling for a while now and I in reality I think I should have been cutting and picking and eating them by now but I'm not I'm not sure so this here I think is some type of lettuce and I think I saw come on come on focus I think I saw online where someone said that this here is caused by bugs and it means that it's infested so I need to cut that so I'm going to be cutting a lot of the dead leaves and all of that today um, in this planner what's missing is my lettuce something ate it collard greens and spinach um I don't know I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that there I, I don't know um, but yeah, so I'm going to be depotting and all of that. And I kind of need to know what to do about the sunflower that I grew myself. This is it. The baby is beautiful. And I'm sure I just need to cut out the dead leaves. But the issue is it is so tall. And I keep it behind this wall because I feel like if the wind blows too hard, it's just going to blow it and snap it. Like it blew that one over. It still grew, but it blew that one over. So I'm thinking I should just cut them in half and replant them. I'm not sure what to do about that because I'm really not liking how tall they are. But let me know what y'all think about that. So I'm going to take them one by one. Oh, I forgot about this. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, so I also purchased me an aloe vera tree or plant. Ooh, wait a minute let's focus all right I also purchased my aloe vera um, little plant I might keep that inside I don't know and then I also have a um I think this is bell pepper here focus camera okay anyway that's the bell pepper there so I'm going to probably replant that bell pepper in that pot and uh, I don't know about that aloe vera I might have to buy a smaller pot just leave it how it is now and buy a smaller pot but anyway um yeah so I have some gloves I have I finally purchased one of those but I got it from the Dollar Tree <laughs> I have everything I need. I'm going to take it one by one, sit it up here, and get started on replanting. So my lettuce over here died, and I'm kind of scared to see what's down here. It's gone. The what like it could not have just absorbed what the heck it is 
is going? That is crazy. Something ate my dang on lettuce. I mean, it is gone. That is crazy. That is crazy. Wow. One get high grade from a distance, baby. I'm going insane. Red Cross, baby, come to my aid. Shorty said he busted my brain like a migraine. Your game, my game, your loss, my pain. Slow down the way you go down. You know now, now me they run the whole town. King of the city, cause I wear that gold crown. So give it up for bad man, better than bad man. I didn't impress these dogs and kill these cats, man. Rats, man, these other guys are rats, man. When I get on stage, all they do is clap, man. So make you join me in my Bugatti. Join me in my Bugatti. Only you in my Bugatti. Only you in my Bugatti. See my Jeep Seagulls. Something to myself. She wants to wire. She be mad in my place, she looking at my eye harder She wants to wander, she be moving so quick uh -huh. You never see her coming She wants to wander, she and me ever That's what we say She's like the baddest girl me I ever, ever seen like a... Okay, so we have this one, I'm done with it Got rid of 90% of the dead leaves, the infected leaves, as well as this broccoli over here. I don't know. I think I'm going to give this probably about another month. Ooh, I think I'm going to give this about another month. And um, if nothing comes about, I think this is broccoli here, y'all. If nothing comes about here, I think I'm going to depot this. I think I'm going to depot this and put it in its own pot and just be done with that. So these are all the dead and infected leaves I got from the first planter. So I'm going to start working on this one now. I'm going to go in and just try to cut away all of the dead um, stems, leaves, etc, etc. She your number one lover, hot time cold, you be begging her please, no If you tell me I own, I'll take you on, then I'll put you on, girl, girl Feel me now, the thing that you want, thing I got to your own, girl, girl See me falling, fall from my sky, panties are dropping, throwing the towel She's a, she's a professional, I think, I think I'm lost in the love life We came strong together, she got a strong desire up to the morning after Now she's moving on She wants to find her 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 y'all can see that like a whole bunch of dead leaves down there and they're like so intertwined and I'm about to give up okay I'm about to give it up I don't want to get rid of the plant though I don't know what I'm gonna do any suggestions so this is the best that I could do I'm probably going to just cut all of these and eat it. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah. So.
So now I am going to move on to my sunflower. It's only about four dead leaves on there. I'm going to cut them off and I'm going to go ahead and start um, depotting my other plants. And this is all of the dead leaves and whatnot that came off of the two planters. That's a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and depot this one and put it in the hanging container because I plan on hanging it up here with my lantern and I'm going to probably put like some lights or something like that in that lantern. So yeah. Yeah, this flower here is so tight. I couldn't even water it. So I have to go ahead and get it depotted. Moving so quick, you never see her coming. She wants to She had me Now so me say. She wants to wander. See my Jeep Seeger. She saw me. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That's crazy. She be mad in my place. She looking at my eye harder. She wants to wonder. She be moving so quick. You never see her coming. She wants to see wonder. She am me one. Now so me say. Mm. She wants to wonder. Bad man. Na na na. Kiki. Young buds, baby. I see her. So um, I was in 
Aldi yesterday and it was like this was just sitting there waiting for me it was only two dollars and it is basil and it smells so good so i'm gonna of course depot that and put it in one of these pots i just left um home depot and this was a little damaged and i think it's only like a dollar set a dollar thirty cent and i think she gave it to me 50 percent off and i also stopped by walmart and i picked this one up i think i'm gonna put it in this one um my basil so of course y'all i'm gonna show y'all a when i first planted the flowers during like a month or two after and now so these are before and during pictures. I can't believe something ate my lettuce, but it is, you know, <laughs> edible vegetables outside growing. So it's to be expected. But yeah, they start growing really fast and I'm really still excited so about the whole process. Now. They are looking so good, so beautiful. <sighs> my struggle plant but for the most part they're looking so good and it's just the basil that i was just speaking about that i need to replant my sunflowers i said earlier in the video i didn't know how to keep them standing up strong well after google 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 see i, I gotta research i i just jumped into this gardening thing and i didn't do research i figured out they have like little gates and little anyway I figured out how to fix that so I ordered some off of Amazon and they should be here tomorrow so this is what I purchased I don't know if they're gonna be tall enough but we will see so this plant here has completely basically died as y'all can see um, mm, this plant and the other plant that I depotted I think I need to depot them again and and I don't know just break them apart i think that the roots was just so intertwined that they're not really getting water um like they should but also i was doing a little traveling for about three four days so that's why that's struggling but once, since i've been back and i've been watering it consistently as y'all can see um they're starting to bloom again i do need to cut off a couple of more of the dead ones but they're doing okay um, my pepper I purchased I think I have a picture of it um, excuse the mess y'all I literally have been out here planting dirt and um, my patio is nowhere near where I want it to be but it will be there soon and y'all know I love my patio area so it's gonna be bomb um, so this is my aloe vera that I replanted and this here is the bouquet of flowers that my boo sent me and they were all dried out and I didn't want to get rid of them but I did want to see if there was any could I grow it like could I regrow it so I just took some pieces of the flower and I planted it in there I'm gonna add a little bit more dirt I did run out of dirt so I'm gonna get out here later and add some dirt to that and repot my um, basil so yeah so those are my plants right now and I'm so excited so excited to show y'all the finished results it's gonna be everything that I want so I found this little greenhouse on Amazon and the measurements is pretty cool it should fit on my patio I know my um, neighbors are gonna be like oh my god this girl got a whole house on the patio but anyway it costs like $55 just in case y'all interested I'm gonna have to skip a bill or two <laughs> But yeah, so everything should fit and I'm really excited to get it and see how it goes. And this flower here is at my front door. As y'all can see, this one here is dying. And I've had this for, mm, I'll say a little bit over a week. And it's like, I don't know, every three days one of them die, but they're still growing. As y'all can see, some of the you know flowers are coming through so i don't know what i'm doing wrong because if maybe it's just the natural progression maybe they just die off as some more grow but that doesn't make any sense um i don't know if y'all can see the little buggy there i guess but anyway i don't know can y'all see i'm just working you better work then you better work on that flower so anyway um 
they're growing still. So the fact that they're dying also is kind of weird to me. Maybe I have a tip or two for that. Let me know. So that's the update on my garden for everyone that was asking. I will be putting in so much work out there in the next two weeks. So I will come back with a quick little video showing y'all an update on the garden, the patio, all of that. I will also be doing random giveaways on Facebook, IG, and on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. It will just be random things <laughs> out of the blue. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have haven't already I will also do an apartment tour once everything is together hopefully it will be together in the next couple of weeks as well again thanks for watching love y'all see y'all soon